Good morning, everyone. It is Rosh Chodesh Elul, the first day of Rosh Chodesh. Today is August 8th, and we are in the midst of a hot and humid weather pattern for much of the Midwest. Chicago is going to take a little bit of a break tomorrow from the heat, but the humidity will continue. But the real story this week is what's going to be happening on Tuesday, where extremely humid air, extremely humid air will be making it much further into the Midwest than usual. This will include the Chicago area, and I believe northern Indiana as well, South Bend, Indiana. Currently, dew points are expected to rise into the upper 70s, possibly even higher than that, but upper 70s is a good bet. Uh, It's hard to get higher than that this time of the year, so upper 70s. This means although temperatures are only going to be in the low 90s Tuesday afternoon, heat indices in some areas in the Chicago region will, will be approaching 109 degrees. So imagine that, 92 degrees with temperatures feeling 16 or 17 degrees warmer than they actually are. So we seriously are talking about dew points around 78 degrees. And this is believable because Chicago has had a dew point already this year of 78 degrees and things which have already happened tend to return. And it would not be so surprising to see that dew point return as even slightly higher, 79 degrees. That would not be so surprising to see. Yesterday on the weather map, uh, the humidity, the dew points yesterday evening were generally in the lower 70s. Some mid-70s were reported. But this air, although it's humid, this is not the real humidity, the extreme humidity that's going to be entering the Chicago area on Tuesday. So what's going to be happening is we're going to have today sunny, hot, and humid weather with highs in the low 90s. Some thunderstorms may develop late in the afternoon or this evening. Some storms could be severe, especially west of the Chicago region. Overnight lows tonight, low 70s. And as those clouds hang around tomorrow, humidity continues, but cooler temperatures, highs only in the low 80s. We'll have heat indices probably in the middle or upper 80s, but it's going to have a a humid feel to it. And then after tomorrow's cool down, that's when the extreme humidity, really, really high humidity, probably the highest in the country will be occurring here in the Midwest as dew points go into the upper 70s on Tuesday. I believe this originally was was forecast to happen over Shabbos, but it's been pushed off. Uh, The Shabbos dew points were in the low 70s, certainly a humid day, but Tuesday we're really going to see a borderline record territory humidity as dew points rise into the upper 70s. I want to point out last night at around midnight, around midnight, which would be early in the morning for this particular area in Iran, there's a city in the middle of the Persian Gulf which was reporting a real field temperature a real field temperature of 139 degrees. Imagine that. And the heat index, if you look it up, the heat index was about 124 degrees when you do just the heat and humidity with the sunshine. It was uh, the heat index, the, the real feel was 139 degrees. Temperature was 95 degrees with a dew point of 84 degrees. The ocean water temperature, 94 degrees. This is on the beach of, oh gosh, a real complicated city, and I'm not able to check the name of the city right now. But I did check the population, and there's 776 families living in the city and over 4,000 people living in this city, but not a lot of people at all. It's actually considered a village, and the city starts with a D. Perhaps we'll have more information in regards to that later today. I've never seen an acu- a, a real field temperature of, a, of that high ever ever and a temperature of 95 dew point of 84 and also if you look at the seven day forecast I, i'm going to get the city uh but if you look at the seven day forecast for the city highs each day 95 degrees lows each day between 92 and 95 degrees meaning there are days it's just 95 every single hour of the day in the city well why should that be you have an ocean water temperature at 94 degrees. The city is the size of a of a dot, like in the middle of ocean. Just it, it's right. It's going to be just about the water temperature, and the land temperature has to be a little bit warmer than the water temperature. So water temperature is 94, land temperature 95. Overnight lows, I would think I would put them in 93. I, I don't know any forecast which has an overnight low of 95. I mean. That's 
it could be, I guess, when the humidity is that high, it prevents temperatures from dropping. So, but I would think you'll have afternoon highs about a degree higher than the water temperature, overnight lows about a degree lower than the water temperature, and that's pretty consistent with what the, we see in the forecast. But te- do, <laughs> heat indices above 120, 24 seven for the next seven days, 24 seven, and when that sun is out, the real field temperatures are up to 14 degrees higher with the brutal sunshine. So that puts the real field temperatures in the mid and upper 130s. The uh, dark sky weather map showed a dew point of 89 degrees in the city, but if you look on the weather channel, they had a weather.com, they had the dew point at 84 degrees. Uh, So how do I know 84 is more accurate than 89? I don't know, but I'm starting to think dark sky has... Their dew points sometimes might be five degrees off in the extreme situations. So, for example, they have a dew point, a forecast dew point of 83 degrees here in Chicago Tuesday afternoon. I'm going to assume it's five degrees off and make that dew point 78 degrees for the forecast high, which is also consistent with what I'm hearing from other forecasts. Uh, but the, the the highlight of the week is the extreme humidity on Tuesday. This is a I believe it's a one-day event. I have to look into Wednesday, but it's a Tuesday of just very high humidity. Uh, I wish everybody a great day and enjoy the weather.